So if you're anything like me, I bet you your YouTube feed has been inundated with AMD 5600 XT reviews. So what do we make of all of it? I mean, there are a lot of benchmarks, a lot of news flying everywhere, but if you're in the market for a $300 GPU, is this the one to get or should you consider something else? Let's do a little bit of market analysis and just make it simple. So let's talk about it now. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Is this a GPU that you'd consider or do you have something else in mind? All right, so if you're anything like me, like today I kind of woke up to seeing so many AMD 5600 XT reviews. And as an owner of the 5700 XT, I was a little bit curious, how much performance can they get out of it and at what price point? So this GPU is gonna be coming in at around $300 or a little bit less depending on the model. And apparently it's gonna have more performance than it initially did because as soon as Nvidia knew that AMD was gonna have this GPU to compete in that market, which traditionally was gonna go up against the Nvidia 1660 Ti, Nvidia decided to release sort of a stripped down version of their 2060 card. Primarily, the first one to be released is the EVGA 2060 KO. It's basically a 2060, it just has a little bit more of like a bare bones cooler on it, but FPS performance should still be really good, and it's only $299. Now, having heard this, AMD did a counterattack. They released a new BIOS update like really recently, and this card has really not even been released yet. Today's like the first day that it's really out in the wild. So they released a BIOS update, giving the card better RAM, better power, um, pretty much everything to make it come closer to the 2060 because AMD knew now they were gonna be going up against a 2060 card in that $300 range. In this sort of price range, every little bit counts. So even if there's only a $20 difference between two GPUs, if one has pretty much the same performance, more people are gonna buy the cheaper one. That's really just how it works. So AMD knew this and they did a little bit of a BIOS, let's say update, releasing a lot more of the car's power in order to look a little bit more favorable compared to the Nvidia card. So now let's say if your budget is $300, Really, what do you get? Let's say if you're walking into a micro center or even a lot of people have Best Buys around them, not to mention Newegg and Amazon, you know, the usual online avenues. So with a budget of around $300, what do you do? Now the EVGA 2060 KO, I mean, that would be the option if you can find it. So if the EVGA 2060 KO becomes more readily available at $299, then that's definitely the card to get at this price range. Now the 5600 XT is definitely a worthwhile consideration, especially considering AMD's newest BIOS update. If you can find this card for that sub $300 price limit, maybe even closer to like the 280, 290 range, I think that's definitely gonna be a fine card to get. And I would definitely say at that price point, if you can get it cheap enough, you may be able to beat out a similar 1660 Ti, which is really what this card would be competing with if it wasn't for the 2060. Now this $300 market really has been kind of quiet for a long time. It seems like initially Nvidia was either competing in that entry level market. And then of course they dominate the high end market like the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. AMD does not have an answer for that yet. But then sort of the mid range to the high end market was where it really got a little bit more competitive recently with the 2060 Super, 2070 Super versus the 5700, 5700 XT. That was definitely one of the biggest competitive segments that I think a lot of gamers go towards. But this market around $300 is exceedingly important because a lot of gamers budgets are not going to break that $300 mark. They're going to be somewhere in the 200 range. And if they want to step up from something like a 5500 or a 1660 or even lower end 1650, the next option is going to be something like the 5600 XT or now the Nvidia 2060, especially the KO edition. So basically the way that I would break it down is the 5600 XT is going to beat 1660 Ti as well as the 1660 Super. I would go for the 5600 XT if the 2060 is not available. If you can step your budget up a little bit more and get something like a 2060 Super, you're definitely going to get better performance than the 5600 XT. But 
Barring that, I really think the 5600 XT is going to be the best value. The other option is stepping up to the 5700, which a lot of times on sale can be had for a very close price to what the 5600 XT is. You just have to bump your price up a little bit more. All right, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Leave a comment below, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.